This is the story of a boy and his dream. But more than that, it is the story of an American boy in a dream that is truly American. This is Brian Graves for Fans Be Like, your conversation for the entertainment you love the most. And today, we're talking Lovecraft Country. Now, if you're one of the, like four people who have not yet seen Lovecraft Country on HBO, go ahead and get on there, uh, use the streaming service HBO Max or Go or Now or whatever they're calling it, and you're gonna wanna watch the pilot right away. This show is so freaking good. I have not had a pilot episode of television grab me like this since uh, maybe Lost with the plane crash. I mean. This thing starts off in an extravaganza love letter to H.P. Lovecraft. And <laughs> I mean, it's got uh, aliens and, and war and Cthulhu and, and Jackie Robinson crushing uh, Cthulhu with a, a baseball bat. I mean, it, it's off the charts nuts. And then it settles in and boy, is it a fantastic ride. I don't wanna to spoil too much for you, but I will say, that the racism in this show is so terrifying that it's actually kind of a relief when the monsters show up. This is a show that is brought to you by Misha Green. Uh, if you're not familiar with her work, Underground was an excellent show and uh, she has a fantastic voice in this. Uh, it's uh, from Jordan Peele, maybe one of the uh, most important voices in horror right now. And of course, J.J. Abrams, who is a giant uh, when it comes to genre entertainment. And Way together they have made something really special you're gonna to want to check this out uh, you know what this is a show that already I am terrified for some of these characters and I'm begging my television to let them live uh, particularly Uncle George I am a huge fan of him uh, and I'm hoping he makes it through the show because uh, he has just got this wonderful um, uh, soul that I want to know more about the writing's fantastic the actors are amazing uh, I can't I can't say much you know more about it I'm a big fan and it's just one episode so far uh, so I cannot wait to see what this show delivers in its uh, its coming season uh, I have high hopes for it it's just it's it's gonna be one of the good ones I can tell already so if you haven't checked it out jump on you want to see it you want to see it before people spoil things for you because uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be a show that we're all gonna be talking about a lot one of the things I love about this show is that it's providing a unique point of view that we don't always get to see. It's set in 1950s uh, America, shortly after the Korean War. Uh, the character I mentioned before, Uncle George, he writes a guidebook uh, helping African-American travelers um, navigate a segregated country that isn't always safe to travel in. And a pilot really nails that home. Uh, crossing through sundown towns, um, being ostracized uh, through um, very difficult and painful time and uh, it nails it and then uh, when you finally get to uh, the more supernatural aspects again fantastic terrifying really builds everything up I, I can't wait to see more of what this show has to say and what the themes that it explores I mean, HBO has been knocking it out of the park lately Watchmen was a fantastic show this is a great follow-up to that um, I'm looking forward to seeing what else that they're bringing to the forefront. They're coming out with uh, uh, Ridley Scott soon has a show, um, uh, Raised by Wolves, that looks really interesting. But for right now, Lovecraft Country is the way to go. I mean, this is a fantastic show. You're going to want to check it out. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Like I said, I'm Brian Graves. This is Fans Be Like. Check out Lovecraft Country. It's so good! Dinner will be served in 15 minutes. Don't mind the others. Just because they don't want you here doesn't mean you're not supposed to be.